Welcome. This video is intended to help show you how to set up a Digital Transport Adapter, or DTA, to start receiving digital channels on your TV or HDTV. This video is proudly presented by ComSouth, providing high-quality service to the Middle Georgia area since 1913. First, we're going to take a look at the DTA box and its contents to get a general idea of what we will be installing. If you are a ComSouth customer receiving a DTA from us, your box should look similar to this one. As you open the box, you should see a printed guide on how to set up the DTA, both on a sheet of paper and printed on the inside of the box itself. Be sure to refer to these instructions if you need extra troubleshooting tips or instructions that I may not cover in this video. Starting from the left compartment, you should see two cables, a black HDMI cable used to connect to an HDTV, and a white coax cable used to connect to any standard non-HD television set. The colors of the cables may be different in your DTA box, but it's important to remember what they look like. It's important to keep track of which one is which and to make note of what kind of television set you have. We'll go over this when we set up. In the bottom right compartment, you should find your remote and batteries to control your DTA device and television. Make sure to wait until the DTA is properly set up before inserting batteries and activating the remote. In the upper right compartments, you will find both the DTA device and the power adapter for the DTA. Included in the DTA bag is a set of safety instructions and Velcro adhesives, which we will not be using in this video setup. Now that we know what we're working with, let's go ahead and take out our DTA device. Notice on the back of the device, we have four places to insert cables. They are labeled Cable In, 2TV, HDMI, and Power from left to right. For this first step, we are going to use the Cable In slot. First, we need to look behind our existing television set to find a long coax cable. It will look something like this. You will see that this cable comes from the wall or floor directly to where your TV would sit. If you had cable television before receiving your DTA, you should have this cable somewhere behind your current TV. Make sure to connect the end of this cable that used to connect to your TV into the cable end slot. You should now have a cable running from your wall or floor directly to your DTA device. This next step only applies to those with an HDTV. If you have a non-HDTV, you can ignore this step because this will not apply to you. If you remember the HDMI cable that I pointed out from the left compartment, it's time to take that out and use it on your HDTV. First, you're going to connect one end of the cable into the slot that says HDMI on the back of the DTA. Next, we're going to connect the other end of the cable into a similar slot that says HDMI on the back of your HDTV. If you're using an HDTV, you will not use the channel 3 slash 4 switch located on the back of the DTA. Make sure you leave it alone and proceed to skip the next step to the one that follows. This next step only applies to those with a standard or non-HD TV. If you own an HD TV and have already taken the previous step, please ignore these instructions and go to the next step. If you remember the white coax cable that I pointed out from the left compartment, it's time to take that out and use that on your standard non-HD TV. First, you're going to connect and screw in one end of the cable into the slot that says 2TV on the back of your DTA. Next, we're going to connect and screw the other end of the cable into a similar looking cable slot labeled Cable In RFN on the back of your TV. Note that this will be the same slot you have connected other cable to in the past. If you're using a standard or non-HD TV, make sure to keep the channel 3 slash 4 switch firmly to the left. This is very important or your TV will not display properly in the following steps. Note that this instruction only applies to those who have a non-HD or standard TV. Once we have the proper display cables connected, it is time to get the power connected for the DTA to power up. In this step, make sure you insert the end of the included power adapter completely into the back of the DTA slot first. Then, be sure to plug the other end firmly into your power outlet, power strip, or surge protector. 
Always be sure that the adapter has proper power flow or your device will not turn on. Now it's time to turn on your TV. If you have an HDTV, make sure your input is set to whichever HDMI port you connected the cable to. If you have multiple HDMI inputs, you may need to consult your TV's user manual for help. If you have a standard or non-HD TV, make sure you turn to channel 3. If you kept the channel 3 slash 4 switch to the left as I instructed, you should be good to go. Note, if this is the first time you are connecting your DTA, you may see a screen like this one. Please be sure to wait at least 30 minutes for your DTA to register with the system before trying other troubleshooting options. If you are still having issues with the DTA displaying channels, first consult your included guide for a list of troubleshooting tips. And if you still have questions, feel free to call your local ComSouth office or reach out to the number provided on your user guide. Once your TV is started and on the right channel or input, it's finally time to put the batteries in your remote control and get the remote programmed for your DTA. If you turn your remote over, on the back of the remote is a quick setup guide. Included is also a list of simple instructions which should be found in the same pouch that your remote control came in. Also, you can refer to the included user guide for the remote's features and instructions. Remote setup and advanced features will not be covered in this video, so please be sure to follow the included instructions carefully. Congratulations! You have now set up your DTA and can enjoy the crisp pictures and clear sounds that digital television offers. This has been a presentation by ComSouth. Be sure to check out our website at www.comsouth.net. Thank you for tuning in.